Thanks, Itzel. Coming off a nice conference victory in Tampa, the Tars were looking to keep the momentum rolling at home. Lane University was giving Rollins problems all night. At one point, they were up 12 with 12 minutes left. However, two 10-0 runs, Kyle Marion dropping 20 points alone in the second half, and Jaden Frazier playing big minutes in the second half after Matthias fouled out would help sink Lynn University. We caught up with Jaden to hear about his and the Tars' mindset after Zoe fouled out. The Tars have three road games on the schedule. They'll be home next, January 20th at 7 p.m. In sailing towards the women, it was a rough time at home. The Tars were holding their way in the first half against Lynn University, only down two and shooting 40% from the field. However, a seven point third quarter would be the downfall for the Tars. The women would jump all over Florida Southern early, up 19 to 10 and they would finish with four scores in double digits. But the Mox would hang around and put up a big 26-point fourth quarter to steal the game from the Tars. The women are also on the road for three games, and they won't be home until February 1st. And now from the hardwood to the water, here's Itzel Marcus. The Rollins swim teams faced off against Ave Maria University. Both teams won all 13 events and the women's team took the top three spots in 11 events. The women's final score was 222 to six and the men's was 213 to 26. The next day on a cold Saturday morning, the Tars had a tough meet against Wingate University. The men's team stands at two and seven in dual meets and the women's team is currently at four wins and five losses. Now, back to basketball with Ethan Ma Yao. 